Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 12th of January. James Spann here, and ooh, it's getting cold. We got snow flurries, and uh, welcome back to winter. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the Alpha Skycam network this afternoon. First off, coming from Haleyville, Alabama. Hey, at, at 2 o'clock, it's below freezing. They're sitting at 30 degrees with a wind chill index of 20. You know, just, what, five days ago, the GFS had a high of what today? 52 Shows how, how useless the uh, Moss products can be in the medium range when dealing with big anomalies like this. Just forget about it. They don't work. And a uh, few snow flurries. Uh, in fact, almost everybody up there reporting flurries within the hour in that part of the state. There's the Hamilton Sky Cam. They're down to 32. That's at uh, Hamilton High School. Seen a few flakes of snow there. But look at that. A little sun down in Demopolis. You go farther south. They've had some sunshine today. That's looking down the uh, Tom Bigby River from the Civic Center there. Cold trough over the east. Winter time is back with cold and snowy conditions for much of the eastern half of the nation today. And yeah, look at the progression of the cold air. Uh, you've got 54 at Alexander City. You cross the front. It's below freezing at Haleyville, where they've got 30. And uh, needless to say, the cold air wins the battle. We are expecting lows in the lower 20s early tomorrow morning. And around the nation, yeah, it's cold over pretty good chunk of the United States, and that mild air over the east will be squeezed out tonight. But like we've talked about, this will be a quick-hitting pop of cold air. We'll check the uh, radar. That's coming out of uh, Columbus Air Force Base at 210. All of that is uh, light snow. And hey, guess what this is? Ooh, this is dual pole data from Memphis. You know, they've got dual polarization radar there. The uh, Huntsville dual pole went online this week, and that is hydrometeor type. Uh, that's the radar depicting what's rain, what's snow. Bottom line is almost everything there, it's snow. The blue, the ice crystals are purple. But in this uh, cold air mass, uh, that's just light snow falling up through there. By the way, Birmingham uh, should be uh, scheduled for the dual pole uh, upgrade uh, this spring, hopefully by the end of March. That's the uh, HRRR, the uh, replacement model for the Ruck, showing where snow should fall this evening. That's uh, uh, over the next 12 hours, and you can see uh, the potential for snow flurries, mainly north of Interstate 20 tonight. And by midnight, most everything should be gone as the sky clears. And the watch warning map. Look at all of those uh, winter weather advisories up north, down into north Georgia. Winter storm warnings around the Great Lakes, including Chicago, uh, Gary, Indiana. Winter storm warning for parts of interior New England. And hard freeze warning down south, parts of Louisiana and south Mississippi. And the QPF chart expected precipitation for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock. Amounts uh, heavier around northwest Alabama, about a half inch there. And the bulk of the rain comes in just after this, during the day Tuesday of next week. All right, let's go through the modeling here. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. That big upper load that brought the cold air rotating up to New England and down below that. There'll be snowy up there, around here, sunny and cold, with highs in the low 40s. The GFS has 43. That sounds about right. We'll start the day down in the low 20s. The GFS has us down to 21 at daybreak. All right, there's Saturday, a nice day, although, again, it's going to be cold early. We'll be down in the low 20s again, maybe teens for the colder valleys if the wind can go calm. But we warm up nicely. We'll be in the low 50s Saturday afternoon and Sunday. How about mid to upper 50s? The GFS is showing 57. That looks about right with those thickness values. So, again, it's a quick-hitting cold snap. Uh, which is a good thing. Go to Monday of next week. Clouds increase, maybe a few showers late Monday afternoon or Monday evening, and Tuesday a cold front passes through with a chance of showers. That's suggesting about one-half inch of rain, maybe some thunder, but no severe weather with that. And Wednesday of next week, uh, broad trough over the east. We turn a bit colder. I'd say that's seasonal with highs around 50. And a week from today, pleasant, quiet, cool but calm weather. All right, let's go out there a few more days. The 26th of January, pretty sharp trough passing through. After some rain, a quick-hitting shot of cold air. But look at that. Two days later, we warm right back up, and that's just kind of the way it's going to be until the pattern flips. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you are around this neck of the woods, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.